All right, and we are finally live. Food Court, the movie podcast, and Twitch stream where Sean. And Watch Michael. shit, talk shit, and most importantly, <laughs> eat shit. We are the law. Hello, John. We Hi, are. Michael. Hello, Hi, hello, watchers. Hello. Greetings, <laughs> listeners. If you're watching, <laughs> sorry we're late. If you're listening, that has you don't know what we're talking about. So don't even worry yeah. about it. Uh, first <laughs> of all, welcome back. We are all the way outside of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. <laughs> we are just talking about other movies. We just talk about whatever movie we watch. Uh, like the old yes. days. Yes, like the good old days. Uh, yeah, great, great old, old days. days. <laughs> uh, this week, uh, the people have spoken, and we have watched mm-hmm. The Little Things on How HBO Max. The, uh, that's right. How close was the uh, vote? <clears throat> it was not that close. Not I oh. I think you were stumping and lobbying to get <laughs> us to Denzel. I, I posted one thing. I'm surprised. Wow. I mean, I, I didn't actually. Wa- I mean, I was going to watch this anyways. Sure. So I didn't really care <laughs> when we did it. Yeah. But I did post one thing <laughs> just to further my. Uh huh. Just keep my integrity forward, my Denzel first integrity. You mm-hmm. love Denzel it, more than people. Because if That's... anyone needs our help, <laughs> it's Denzel Washington. Oh, poor Denzel. Yeah. He's had a real rough these past few years yeah, he's yeah. only done like four a, although equalizer movies <laughs> let's be real denzel is like a nasty <laughs> fat old bastard in this movie yes yeah, yeah he, like i've seen him be kind badass. of uh kind of tubby before but this was like i mean this looked like me it was horrible <laughs> he looked like pre-diabetic he was lit to look like you know just like he's like robert loggia or no not even robert loggia <laughs> Who's the villain from uh, from the Goonies? Oh, not, not Joe Pantoliano. The mom. But the Greggy <laughs> family. The mom. Face face. The mom. Oh, Robert Davi. Robert oh yes, Robert Davi. Oh, he does look rough. Yeah. Even but someone asked Jared Leto couldn't couldn't look as rough as Denzel <laughs> looked in this movie. Yeah, even like in makeup to look like a disgusting man, really overdone Jared Leto makeup still. <laughs> Yeah, it was <laughs> that makeup was like a Halloween was... like somebody <laughs> silly. <laughs> I'm gonna be scary looking. <laughs> Ooh, I have scary teeth. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I think you should have just poured it over the Michael Morbius makeup. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Morbius. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe he just like walked <laughs> off the Morbius set straight into the thing and they said, Okay, change my teeth into the into the dirty the teeth from, from the vampire teeth. And then he, or what, or else, what if he just showed up and they're like, "Oh, you look great!" Like they didn't have to do anything. That's just, he what just he looks got like. off a three day binge of heroin, and now he's back. He's like, hey y'all, I'm ready to be an actor. Oh, man, those three day binges—they're fun. So if you, as long as you can get off after three days, it's fine. Three days yeah, of heroin awesome. is okay. Four is bad. I think That's what I learned for me. Might be yeah. good. Three? <laughs> I think the weight loss of the heroin might yeah. Oh, yeah. counteract just the more wow. obesity. Although right, might... now, right now, the obesity does have me in front of you guys in the vaccine line. <laughs> oh, so, shit. Can't get too mad about that. Oh, what? At are risk. you a 2B? What are you? Fuck, He's at risk. Three, three bills. So that oh, fuck. No, not yet. <laughs> if, I get to, if I get to the, the, the three hundreds, I'm gonna feel pretty. I'm gonna That's feel exciting. pretty wellsy, and I'll be. It'll be hard to stop me from just like wearing <laughs> yeah. capes and Ooh. drinking Paul Masson <laughs> champagne and just denigrating the both of you, not to your faces, but as soon as either of you turn, turn around, you can yeah. be a journalist or to Peter you, you can wear a cape right now if you want to. I have some capes. Yeah. Small. <laughs> <laughs> I put them on the other day. That's really good. It was more like a capelet. It, was, it did not capelet. work out. It was too small. It was like, this is That's really cut good. off cape. I yeah. have like three different armoires in my house. And they used to be for different uh, levels of whatever weight fluctuation I was in the throes of. And now, just all three of them are just filled with clothes from the past that I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I'm just these goddamn 
sweaters and Sansa belt pants. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Magic Gavin t-shirts. Yes. And Magic yes. Gavin. Uh, oh. Before we get too deep into this wonderful movie that we're going to love talking about, uh-huh. I'll say, uh, after the show, we're putting up a new poll. You decide our fate. Will we watch Tenet? Will we watch Possessor? Wow. Will you watch... Possessor. I don't know, Unhinged? Will yeah. we watch some other movie? Unhinged. <laughs> Tell us yeah. what movie you want us to watch. We'll see how Vote whatever you have. want. Ooh. If I can, if I yeah. can successfully slam dunk with Rock a single tweet, boat. two crappy <laughs> movies over Tenet in a row, and Possessor, I mean, I feel like everybody <laughs> Possessor is pretty good too. Possessor kicks ass. I mean, I've seen all these movies, but I will watch them again. I feel uh, like when does that Fred Hampton movie come out? I don't know. Is it soon? I think it is soon. I'll text him. He's oh, my brother. Man. Oh man! Wow, you ain't heavy. <laughs> um, but. Uh, is okay, Clooney in that one? Is is that who's um, in it? Am I, I making that up? No, this that's the Daniel. I know. It's the one about the assassination of Fred Hampton. Oh, that sounds intense. It's okay, got, I'll watch uh, that. Uh, it's got Daniel Kaluuya and then day. who is the <laughs> other guy from Get Out who's in everything now? Oh, um, uh, the white guy. No, it was a black guy. The guy who was in Thank You for Calling you, Me yeah, or whatever. For, yeah. Oh, cousin <laughs> Rel. Yes. <laughs> Cousin, cousin that Rel? Name is? No, it's not Cousin Rel. His name is Cousin Rel. DJ is that what his name is? It's not is? DJ Rel. He is a cool DJ? name for Rel. He has a cool uh, name. DJ. I don't know what his name is. It's like Levi um, Stanfield. I will say. Is it Comedi- Comedian Earthquake? <laughs> Lakeith Stanfield? There it is. Oh, okay. Ooh, good one. I don't know why I didn't Lakeith. think Lakeith Stanfield, because he literally is in all movies. All movies. It'll Lakeith. just be like a movie about a concentration camp, and somehow Lakeith Stanfield <laughs> will be in there, just a single black guy. And you'll be like, how did you get there, Lakeith Stanfield? There weren't any black guys there. And he's just like, I'm a good actor. It's great. FDR sometimes... starring Lakeith Stanfield. Lakeith. Amazing, um, a- amazing agent. Michael. I do have a report from direct from Ooh, the Kill Donkeys. On us. Dee, 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 dee. This is a Kill Donkey <laughs> report. Um, they Chad Ryden said Tenet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a live vote. I can't believe Lakeith Stanfield is not in Tenet. Are we sure he's not in Tenet? <sighs> Uh, we no. wish he was in Tenet. No. Let's not get into that. Let's not get into that too much, okay. but we wish Chad, he was in Tenet. Ch- Chad said, make it so. So, make we so. watched The Little Things, uh, starring Denzel and that other guy, and Jared Leto. What is that guy's name? <laughs> Rami Mercury. Rami Malek. Rami Malek. For, first Malek. of all, can I say, can we change the name of this movie from The Little Things to Overbites the Movie? Is it okay <laughs> to change the... Are there multiple? Help? I think Denzel kind of has an overbite. I think Denzel is faking an overbite no, so that he everybody he, he kind of does like an overbite thing. <laughs> I think I think he is making up an overbite. Like I think he got some kind of extension, like no. a face extension. Wow. Like Denzel's, well, a face as, extension. as a Denzelologist, um, <laughs> Denzelologist, a Denzelite. Uh, one of his go-to maneuvers is when he's like really is. sad, like getting really sad and really upset. Mm-hmm. He reveals like the only like imperfect face he can do, which is kind of this Simpsons character tragic overbite. Like, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. It, he pulls it out from time to time. Like, yeah, that's Dakota true. Fanning that's very true. Or, like, oh. Civil War things and glory, yeah. like <laughs> things like this. he'll just pull out this overbite face, and it's one, you know, it's one of the only times where like I'm not just you know. Fully erect and ready to. <laughs> Whoa! When John Lithgow steals his kids, throw rope, as it were. Uh, j- oh man, that shadow wow. ricochet maybe the greatest unsung Dennis Denzel Dennis Denzel movie. <laughs> Dennis Dennis Washington. Dennis yeah, Washington. Malik, so like, um, it's weird. Uh, I thought he had an underbite. No. Isn't it like? Does he have a chin that shoots out ten? No, he's got a. <laughs> He's, it, he's I thought Mercury, for sure right? he was still wearing the Freddie Mercury teeth. That's how he got the gig. <laughs> the gig. <laughs> Those are just his teeth. The gig. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. The teeth in that movie. Can we take a sure. second to talk? I haven't about actually that? seen it. So. You mean you, it, Oscar-winning it, teeth in that movie? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yes. The uh, lead role by teeth. <laughs> it was no, awful. 
I was like, it was so hard to take any scene serious when it was like supposed to be serious. It was just like, it's really rough. <laughs> like, it's it was really so insane. insane. Which, but if it was a real, per- it's because they're fake teeth. Like, they're what not- is the name of that movie? It- um, I just can't remember. I was trying to remember. Is it? I. It's Bohemian Rhapsody. But it is a Bohemian Rhapsody. It's Yas Yas, Yas Queen, Queen. I think <laughs> is the name. Uh oh, we made the kill doggy oh. sad. Anna said, cool said, aw, oh, poor Rami. Freddy really was the perfect role for him. LOL. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tricky. God. She just can I Can I defend that things. movie yes. briefly? Is sure. that okay? Yeah. There is one sure. scene where it gets real sad and uh, Rami uh-huh. learns that he's got AIDS. And they play Who Wants to Live Forever. <laughs> and people on the internet, which is e- extremely on the nose. But it's such a beautiful song that it still worked on me. But... This is the weird part. The, the internet Highlander theme, might have yes, asked. yes. <laughs> the internet was up in arms because they were like, "Well, he didn't write that about getting AIDS. He wrote that about the Highlander." And it's like <laughs> they know that he didn't write it about getting. <laughs> they're using it as a thing, yeah, as, a, as, a, as tool. a tool. Right. It's a... <laughs> and we don't know that he wasn't sitting there watching Highlander, writing tunes <laughs> for Highlander. With full blown AIDS or not? We don't know that. He saw some could have been, purple. Uh, he could have been, you know, Spots. you know why I want to score this movie? Because Mm-mm. fighting uh, an intergalactic space duel with the Kurgan yes. is what I'm going through as a man with full blown AIDS. I got FBA. Yeah. Oof. I got the FBA. So. Feeling bad all the time. All the time. We watch the little things. <laughs> And you know what the plot is? I know the plot. Yeah. Well, you, um, you should say it. Just repeat the plot to Seven that you did for the Seven episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, well, okay, here's what happens. It is Zodiac, and then oh, yeah. it is um, the bit in Reservoir Dogs where they have K-Billy Super Sound of the 70s. Yeah, that is definitely true. And then and it is Seven. steal the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood driving around scenes. Yes. They so film them the mm. exact same way. Yes. And then that's the end. After it's seven, it's pretty much the end. No, there's a few yeah. more bits after seven. Okay, so what happens is uh, Denzel is a grizzled Denzel. regular cop. He's got a regular uniform. Like he's a not a detective. Yeah, he's like a sheriff. Yeah. And he has to go to the big city of L.A. with some boots. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then uh, we find out that he used to be one of them. He used to be the <laughs> one of the, be the best damn detective in all of Hollyweird, and, <laughs> and Holly he Weird. would solve all the cases. He solved every case except this one case, and, and it was too much. One too. Yeah, like some cases. <laughs> yes, a few different cases. Yeah, he's not very good. <laughs> As it turns out, as it turns out, it he sucks. was not that good. And Rami Malek is playing <laughs> lot. Rammy. He's young and he yeah. wears an all black suit like Reservoir Dogs also. <laughs> and and if you start to pull at the seams of references, the entire thing falls apart. But that doesn't mean we can't destroy talk this about. sweater, just pull at the references yes. of this film, the tapestry of this film. Yes. All that, just, no, I, just, there's nothing wrong yet. There's nothing wrong with this movie yet. No. The no. Fine. Yeah. This is the type of bullshit I love to watch. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, Chad Ryden said it could have been a wonderful short film, but instead it's a two plus hour snooze fest. <laughs> um, and then Holly the Red said, Buddy Cop, Purple Heart. And then Anna Sue Cool said, Yes, Zodiac versus this movie is actually a great contrast. And I agree, it made Zodiac look like what y'all yeah. describe it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Compared to... yeah, I mean, when you see someone who is so blatantly trying to do Zodiac or to do yeah. Fincher. And they miss the mark. It's like, oh man, Zodiac is really pretty good. Yeah. Okay, pretty so good. Denzel and and Rami, you know, they're they're at odds at first because one's the old guy and one's the young guy, and they can't get along. But in the end, they're best of friends, and they Can I even you kiss. For yes. For a um, I did interrupt you. I guess I don't need to ask. So no. I did you. Please. <laughs> um, I wish the, you now would. the trailer pretends that these guys are at odds these guys are never at yeah odds. Like, <laughs> Alex's character like immediately is like this old guy knows what's good why am i doing that voice this guy yeah. i should be like this old guy knows what's good <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just fucking bore at. <laughs> and I'm yeah. gonna my kids in my pool. I wouldn't be surprised if Borat was second on the list for this character. For this, for this role. Yeah, I would much I rather see, see Borat as that character. But they, they like they like that. friendly and helping each other. That would have been funny. Like, there's no tension there. Like I would, I would have enjoyed no. some of my. There's you know, 30 seconds of them going, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, Kojak, and that, and then the moment after that, he goes, ah, oh, well, I guess you already solved my first case. <laughs> yeah, <fucking> crazy. <laughs> so he, weird. He, he's just what a like, weird I brought this old fat sheriff, <laughs> this old fat disgraced sheriff, yeah. and I'm gonna let him have full fucking reign over this case, yeah. even though I just told him. Oh, yeah. run his ass out of town for no reason <laughs> and I'm now going to be incredibly nice to him because I trust his instincts yeah yes. he might as well have hey. been like guys this is fucking Denzel Washington yes and I'm this gonna... is the actor Denzel <laughs> and he's this is he's, the actor uh... he's straight from Hollyweird and he is going to actually solve this case all by himself <laughs> uh, and I am I am actor Rami Malek uh, Oscar yes. winner, but still pale in comparison <laughs> yeah. to Denzel. Oh, it's rough. It really makes him stick out. You're like, yeah. somebody needs to help this guy. <laughs> Can we get an acting coach in for this Oscar winning actor? Yeah. Okay, so they're still lurking. And you know what? Denzel's on the beat. He buys some detective clothes. At a detective army yes, navy store, and then uh, he, f in within a day, I think, he finds a guy who's very, very suspicious. And this, it's not my euro of the picture, but it's one of my top picks. He's in the supply store. He's really grilling this poor guy, John Abood, and um, uh -huh. there is a curtain that. Uh, through which you can see the people in the back doing their jobs <laughs> or not doing their jobs, mm -hmm. having a break. From the yes. serial killing casting couch. <laughs> All look like serial killers. <laughs> and then Jared Leto does, you know in a movie when a lady pulls off the <gasps> helmet and you and she reveals her hair and you're like, what? That's, that's a lady? A uh, he does this exact <laughs> thing, except he like turns towards the camera and his hair kind of floats a little bit, but he's got weird Jared Leto eyes and weird yeah. teeth. Like, and I went, this time. yes, they made me very ugly. I'm sick. <laughs> and you know what? He's probably the killer. Or is he? <gasps> you never know. I mean, you don't know. You don't, do we know? <laughs> and you do you do, do we know? know? You do never know. And then. But oh, it seems ahead. likely. It seems likely, but you, you don't know. He, Jared Leto, the character, I will. I don't think I'm going to look up any of the character <laughs> names because it, it's not worth it. Riggs and Murtaugh. Yes. Riggs and Murtaugh. Gary Busey. Leto's character's name is uh, Junior from Panther. <laughs> Junior. Yeah. He's this, Raul. This, this, yeah. uh, and, and Jared Leto, they bring him in because they know this guy's weird as fuck. And that's enough for <laughs> L.A. cops. Uh, so he's he's in um, he's in the room getting questioned, and they show him pictures of dead ladies, and he gets horny, right? Isn't this true? Yeah, I'm not mistaking the <laughs> fact a... that he gets horny. Game recognized. Game, That's why Denzel Sean. gets mad. He he gets horny, <laughs> and then Denzel. This is too much for Denzel. Yeah, he gets pissed off. <laughs> he said he's hard as a rock. Or something like that. Like that. <laughs> I think so. Does he go? He's sitting there hard as a rock. I think, I think stuff happened, guys. <laughs> no, it did. Did he not get horny? I think he was, think he was doing like the stuff about getting pounded in prison or something. Oh, is that what did it? Oh, I thought he was looking at the dead pictures and was like, "Uh oh, bing bong bing bong." <laughs> Is that, I like it. Of, is, is that a scene where he dropped like. his killer, obviously ad lib <gasps> lines? <laughs> Jared Leto brought to the table. Jeez. Holy gosh. Oh, the, well, oh, I'll say okay. it. Okay. I'm going to ask right now while we're there. <laughs> with, okay. When the director and the writer pictured this movie, did they want this character to be funny? No. You don't think so? I think, I think Leto was stuck I in don't know. Mode. 
<laughs> Maybe, he says yeah. so much. Uh, he says he has so many fucking puns. I know. It's a lot of goofball <laughs> shit. Fucking insane. And yeah. it's really weird. It was not I mean, funny. It was like if Sean was hired to play the goddamn kettle. Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking torture. That's why I liked it. But it's it's the worst possible <laughs> thing for this movie. But yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't make any fucking sense because it's like, why is he goofing so much? He's this guy's a yeah. fucking goofball. He's <laughs> silly. For for a guy who gets goofy. horny over dead bodies, this guy is silly. Uh, yes. But yeah. I that was like one of my favorite parts of the movie is that he is just in a different movie. He's not bothering to play their movie. He's like, I'm doing my own movie where I'm a wacky. You should really player. check out the other work. Like, That's if true. Like, if you like He's that wild. kind of performance, I don't like always. I don't like it in movies that I am liking, and then he comes in uh -huh, and is uh -huh. in some yeah. space mode, and I go, "Why are you?" Here? <laughs> I mean, that, you were describing yeah. exactly what happened to me watching this movie. Yeah, I was like, yeah. "This movie is pretty good, despite Rami Malek being horribly miscast." And then it's like, "Yeah, oh, yeah. Jared Leto has lost his shit right in front oh. of my face." Yes. It's bad. He's doing the voice of his character in Blade Runner and then the jokes of, like, the Joker. Yeah. It's really weird. Um, You're like, what? Oh, I like these uh, pictures. These are ooh. beautiful pictures of a dead lady. Is this, like, Heath Ledger's fault? Is all of this shit <laughs> Heath Ledger's fault for dying and not being playing these roles? I, either that or, like, just, like, doing the weird voice as the Joker. Like, ever mm -hmm. since the Joker, oh. Oh. we can't get any goddamn actor not to do just a fucking insane voice now. Well, well, this is how serial killers talk. <laughs> I guess he's doing Buffalo Bill, sort of. I don't know. Oh, hmm. yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, but they got nothing on him, so they gotta, they gotta set him loose. And mm -hmm. then, it's, just a, it's just a bunch of detective movies. It's a bunch of detective shit. Which is fine. Yeah. That's fine. That could have been good. And eventually they get out to Seven Country... <laughs> And, uh, spoiler alert, Jared Leto gets hit in the head with a uh, shovel. <laughs> and, wait, this is the this is the important part. Uh, Denzel goes back to solve all everything. He goes and burns everything, and he brings back a token for old Rami. <gasps> because Rami was sad because he could never help find this lady. But you know what? Mm. There, there was a red barrette, which is what she wore in jared leto's house or was there was the there because he had and that's the end of the movie so I that's like bad Sean was confusing <gasps> this then Ooh. was i yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> if we're gonna fully explain the film we okay should, we should point out oh. that uh there the one piece of evidence they have for the missing woman was a red barrette that she always wore was something they yes. were looking for yes yes uh then furthermore jared leto's character is revealed to be a crime obsessed serial confessor yeah and when mm. rami malik kills him in frustration while they're looking for <laughs> the woman's body this is right after the, the uh little character who has either truthfully or non-truthfully unconfessed and been like i haven't killed anyone yeah and rami malik loses yeah. his school and then we learn at the very end of the movie when uh denzel's trying to help him cope with his grief that denzel <laughs> did not really find a barrette at all no <laughs> and that it was a bot at a store. Which, yes. for this, th th all these twists and turns, uh, in a movie that don't have yeah. Rami Malek and Jared Leto uh, farting blood <laughs> on the wall at every turn, I think might have worked. <laughs> Especially with Denzel Washington. Yeah, Lee, maybe. Like, this could be, like, Bone Collector Plus. Or yeah. Better than, better than Fallen. Yes. You know, two not yeah. good Denzel movies that I have watched many times. Because Denzel yeah, is in them, them and a lot. that it's easy to enjoy. Yeah. Fallen is however, a classic. <laughs> however, that's not what happens here. Uh, we 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 end up in no. a in a, um, a movie with some like really strange uh, decisions made on the front end. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's I don't horrible. want to get too far ahead of our low main low mans because I imagine that the, that these actors yeah. will be amongst them. There'll be a bunch. Oh yeah, but this just in the kill doggy okay. report. <laughs> um, Holly the Red said Denzel should have been the killer. He chewed the fuck out of his gum the whole time, so hard chew, which is true. Mm -hmm. Which is that a sign of yeah, a killer? Serial killers always chew gum. That's just something I've noticed. That's true, and it's <laughs> yeah. and back to the red barrette. 
I too like the red barrette <laughs> bit. I think that the twists that even though fucking Rami does this weird fucking thing when he gets the red barrette. He like he gets yeah. it in an envelope and like forever. exactly he goes into a weird catatonic state and drops the everything in his hands and he sees the bread and he he's freezes and he yeah. can't handle it. Uh, but when they go back to Denzel and he's got this you know kind of store bought thing with with two breads and one empty spot where the red one is, that's mm-hmm. genuinely a good bit. And yeah. Now I don't think they sold the movie. Probably all the directors like. Steven Spielberg yeah. were once attached to the film. Yeah. Yes. Oh, was <laughs> Spielberg once attached to this? Yeah. Oh. Then oh, you wow. would have been contractually bound to have enjoyed it, Sean. <laughs> Maybe. No matter who was cast. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> who would Spielberg have cast? It would have been Tom Hanks as Denzel. Um, <laughs> Tom Hanks as Denzel, yeah. Tom Hanks in blackface. <laughs> still, Tom Mike, Hanks in blackface would still Spielberg, be arrested. He's, he's, he's kind of like Flavor of the Week guy. Like has, like, yeah. Oh yeah. Flavor of the week is gonna be there. Mm. Did oh, he do wow. Rami Malek? I oh, wow. just I think Rami Malek's only in this because he just won an Oscar and Denzel was like, all right, okay, <laughs> maybe. Okay, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, me too. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> what two ones did he get? Didn't he get Glory and uh, another one? Was he just maybe? Glory? What was the other uh, one? That's fucking godlessness if he only has one. I don't, I don't know. know. Was it was it for out of time? Dude, it fucking should he be was for in deja that vu. One. Oh, deja vu, yes. <laughs> Did he get one for fences? I think he got nominated for fences, but I don't think he won. All right, you dicks, I'll look it up. <laughs> okay, like we're, we're searching. Yeah, thank you. Okay, John. we've gotten to the moment that matters the most. The moment that will really try hard to make happen. What? Was your yeah. B-Flam Euro of this picture? What was the best part of this movie, Michael hmm. J. Hampton? And I also want to say to the Kill Duckies, please submit your Euros and low mains oh, as we do them because we love to read them. Oh, out Training loud. Day. Duh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> training Day is a movie is. as well. Um. Okay, okay. You're not going to believe this. I have three Euros. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I have Almost as much as... Um, uh, I I did okay. This is one I there's a lot I dislike because it's yeah. stupid. But there's one that I I kind of did like was when like they find all the dead bodies and it's like all, this like really like upbeat music comes on and like all the lights come on. There's just like oh, blood yes. and death. I was like, oh, that's kind of a nice little bit. That's yeah, because the, the power but is out and the was... block for some reason. And then, and then the <laughs> yeah. power comes on right as they're at their very quietest, whispery time. And, and she was yeah. apparently listening to the local punk rock station or something. And it just blasts oh, at them. Yeah. It's good. Don't fear the Reaper comes on. It's wild. Yes. <laughs> All the <laughs> very on the nose. It's like, we're yes. back in yeah. and kill us today. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's very little looking motherfuckers today. <laughs> today. That's a beautiful song. <laughs> I believe they play my guy yeah. right after Denzel Washington. Ooh. Says, that's guy. Oh, that's a, they oh, they guy. do, there's, they do. There's some nothing some you can do. Oh, I forgot yeah. they do tell it like it is in in like a, oh. a moment of uh, telling the truth about the past. Frankness. <laughs> yeah. God damn yeah. it. Oh, I didn't maybe, even think about that. But that's maybe rough. this movie was doomed no matter who was in it. I don't know. <laughs> Sean, who was yours? You. I thought Michael had three. Oh, we got. We can't let him take. <gasps> okay, I'll do. I'll do one. <laughs> I got. I've got like two or three left. Come but back. Here's my main one. Okay. Um, Nick. Mm-hmm. Sab- what is it? Nick Sabatka from The Wire. Yeah, Chris Bauer. Chris Bauer, yeah. who plays Sal. He, pl- he plays <laughs> like. Is that true? I think. I think that <laughs> actually is his name. <laughs> he only plays longshoreman. No clue. Playing other roles. Yes. This whole thing. Yes. Is he the guy with the voice like? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, he <laughs> plays Denzel's old friend. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> they see each other. Life which is part, great. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, Denzel says something like, "Hey, how's it going? Whatever. How are you doing?" And uh, <laughs> and Sal says, <laughs> "Sal says." Well, no rest for the ugly, which I love. <laughs> just a perfect line. Just a great line. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, I have That's other great. things, but I don't want to. 
I don't want to monopolize the Euros. <laughs> no rest for the ugly. That's like maybe a bot wrote the script actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> they just typed in a couple keywords. I mean, <laughs> uh, obviously, processing. Whoa. <gasps> Because he rules in all films. <laughs> He's very good in this movie. Yeah. Is that your hero? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I don't want to do Denzel as my That's hero. That's cheating. But I will do. And it's not the music of the film itself, because there's lots of bad musical choices. Oh, man. But I did think that the music that was written for the film by Thomas Newman was really awesome. It's cool. And I, and I wish that they had just used. Oh, the, right. And it really kind of comes on at the end. <laughs> Which there's a what, what should have been a really tense and prolonged ending scene that should have worked, did not work because it is a yeah. two man scene. It's really Jared weird. Leto and Rami Malek and they both have just it's so weird. Fucking whiff so hard with these characters. Like when you whip yeah. this hard with the characters. Sorry, I'm in the Euro section, just taking a dump on these. Guys. No. It's great. You whiff with the I character love it. so badly. There's just no resonance of any kind, and you're just <laughs> and what's supposed no. to be the crucial scene in the movie. And then you're supposed to have Denzel come in as the fucking cleanup hitter and yeah. sweep it all home. Mm-hmm. Where, where Denzel's really taking a back seat here to these two guys. Yeah. And when you don't have that, it's just. But the music when they're during those, those scenes, especially the, the drive outside of L.A., that 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 that. Mm. I mean, that could have been like a classic. Uh, you know, a memorable uh, sc- score, but uh, yeah, there's yeah. Like, that really... all... so I do it. There's lots of really cool pizzicato strings, <laughs> and, like <laughs> yeah, just good. It's really good. Good, good Thomas Newman shit, but uh... Uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Michael, that's nice um, more on us. Um, well. I, I want to jump to the Kill Donkeys. Holly said that her absolute fave bit was the smarmy fingerprint dude who goes, this guy? <laughs> Which, he I thought he did not fit in this movie at all, but it is, it was, in, the, in that way, yeah. I liked it. I was like, this doesn't make any sense for this movie. I like all the other casting, really. Like, <laughs> yeah. This movie works for me, you know, as a silly genre picture. Yeah, except for just the, yeah, the, the, you just ask too much of two guys. And like, I think Jared Leto's a fucking clown, but Rami Malek needs <laughs> to be effective. We were asked, I'm gonna do my low main one here. I'm gonna st- steal it already because I, I, I think Rami Malek is worse than Jared Leto in this movie. Yes, <clears throat> and I think it's not <laughs> yeah. even really his fault because he's this guy who plays like twitchy, like autistic, like hackers and bond villains and that's his shit <laughs> yeah and he does that when we first introduce him and then they're like okay we got this really twitchy mr robot guy mm-hmm. but he's just a like a family man straight lace cop yeah, yeah. It and, make just any like, sense. Which one and he, he and he loves going to church it's yeah it's, 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 it's like, <laughs> what? they should they should have just rewritten the character to fit the actor if you're gonna do that. I, I, I yeah, bet Ronnie Malik would agree. have been fine in the Jared Leto role. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, probably. I mean, he gave like, off from the beginning like these really creepy yes. vibes <laughs> and like these weird looks at Denzel. I was like, what are they yeah, building is, here? Is he going to be the killer? <laughs> That's who he is. He's this fucking yeah, bizarre weird. character actor. You know? like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was fine for him to mm-hmm. do Freddie Mercury because Freddie Mercury was a fucking, you know, mercurial, bizarre dude. Yes. Um, yeah. He can't play the fucking Ray Liotta role. Just regular. Like he can't do it. This was a really, uh, a yeah, really Ugh. difficult, weird, like, kind of movie ruining decision. And then, you know, I'm sure we'll get to Jared Leto and one of your low mates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and, <laughs> speaking of Jared Leto, Anna Sue Cool said, he, um, he fit in the movie Jared Leto thought he was acting <laughs> in, which I thought yes. was funny. That is <laughs> yeah, he's, he's in his squad. mind. Yeah, much like Suicide Squad, he's like, if there's only more me, it would <laughs> yes. have been a great movie. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not doing my low main yet. I got two more euros <gasps> sure. that I'm going to lay on. Dang. Um, one. Uh, <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's a Butthole Surfers album on the wall of one of the victims, and I just like that record, so that's a, that's, that's a thumb up. Um, also, this is, 
this is like a combo pack of bad and good, so it it will take us right into the low main. Uh, Ooh. Jared Leto's in a bar, uh, doing one of his <laughs> tricks. He's always doing tricks, and he's out partying. Wall with his own blood or something. Yeah, and um, he says, "Shirley Temple to go." <laughs> Yeah, that. There's no way a bar <laughs> has to go cups. That is impossible. Why would they have to go cups? To go. It's a fucking bar. You just throw that person out. Yeah. You yeah, that's out. what I happened. Like, Sir, you've soiled your pants and you just asked for a Shirley Temple to go. Yeah. You can have a Shirley Temple that, for that's here. Extended. Or you can leave. Those are your only choices. <laughs> the, you can't have a Shirley Temple The director's go. cut. <laughs> director's cut has that scene. It's <laughs> where they. Proceed yeah. to throw him out after he has. Yeah, hey, first of all, he teleports. teleports. And then yes. he teleports. Are you weird? Yeah, then he teleports. I would love that. Maybe he has like the same teleporter that Michael Myers does. So he can like, get, get from place to place even though he walks real slow. You make fucking jokes, but when they remake Halloween with Jared Leto, you're going to be all pissed off. <laughs> that would be that'd hilarious. Be really yeah. <laughs> I'd be glad because he, he would be covered and he, he would. Oh, no, he would the like sing time. the goddamn theme song. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> And I just do that the whole fucking As he chases them, that would be so Oh, wait. I could see him doing that, like, as the actor, like, in the scene, like, doing that to the other oh, actors, yeah. and they have to redo all the, the audio. The real joy that this film has brought me is the on set story of uh, them interviewing Denzel about Jared Leto's. Um, uh, on set <laughs> method acting techniques. Yeah. Like, did you try any of that stuff and be like, no, no, he didn't do any of that with me. <laughs> if he had, uh, I'd have paid him a visit. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> He'd have been equalized. Yeah, he would have equalized. Yeah, equalized <laughs> He's going to get him with a fucking nail gun. Okay, I'm going to do my yes. low main. I have transitioned. Michael has refused to tell us his, his 17 I, I won't, uh, favorite things. I won't tell you. <laughs> He's had like an hour to tell us all the wonderful stuff that he loved about the movie. Okay, there was okay. one thing I thought. <laughs> well, when Denzel first starts following Jared Leto around, he does this like weird, like giddy, like excited oh, yes. yeah. thing. I thought Back that was really game. great. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's like wild. So I like that. Part. Romains. I'll tell you, <gasps> there's a bunch. The main, I mean, the main one for me is the titular line. There's like a, a moment a where Denz, Denzel has cleaned up all of the, the possible th threads. He's cleaned up all of the possible evidence. And he's come back to give Rami Malek a hug and a kiss on the neck. And, um, and he says, it's the little things that tear you apart, tear your heart apart, something like that. And almost all titular lines are bad, and you hate them. But if they if they yeah. happen this far into the movie, it it almost always seems like a hey, it's the little things, and that's our film. Thank yeah, the little thing when they were like, it's Thank the you. seven deadly sins, <laughs> <laughs> or this movie is we're trying oh. to find the zodiac yeah. killer. The act. Um. I do have some bad news. I killed Donkey pointed this out, and I also realized they do Jared say Leto's it twice. They're oh, earlier, he? well, earlier, earlier, Denzel says it to Rami uh, the first time. It's like a callback, one of those callback like, lines. Times, although Jared Le yeah, maybe Jared they say it. Probably <laughs> that shit. He's like, I think I can yeah. one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can sneak in the title here. Um, well, I like to look at the dead lady and it makes me horny. And also, have you noticed it's like the little things? All the my, little things. My, my little thing is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, another, another one bit where he like holds up like the, the, the pictures. They, for some reason, give him the pictures of the dead people. Uh, and he's like, catch a lady by her. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's a picture of me. He shows like, a toe, yeah. All right, Jared Leto made that shit up. This is so boring. bad. Uh, Ooh, yeah. That's the good part of the movie. I hate to tell you, that's the good part of the movie. That's the good. Okay, wait. Here's more bad stuff. Christianity and crosses. Why are these in here? They are never pursued. Cavalry. Even a little bit. Cavalry. Cavalry. Up on the hill. The Cavalry. Up on the hill. 
Calvary. 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 Yeah, that was a weird. They just keep mentioning, so mentioning that different people are Christian <laughs> and that being Christian gets you ahead in the in the LAPD. Not true. Homicide. <laughs> Maybe I was yeah, wrong. Yeah, I no couldn't. Fucking LAPD they <laughs> show crosses. Rampart Division racist asshole cop is going to church. Well, maybe they are. I don't get it. I... No, they probably, they probably they are. They're probably they're there every Is week. Still be racist, at least in my church. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> that's, why, that's why I love it. That's why I go there. <laughs> I feel right at home. What kind of church is this? This is one of those churches where (laughs) women can be in the church. You were going to make me feel superior. (laughs) No, no, yeah, no. Uh, Michael, what was your low main, low man? Oh, low main. Um, okay, this one's this one's early. I mean, there's a lot to say for this category, but there was. just some weird choices like pacing and editing and just like especially the beginning i was like what am i watching and then like the tension diffusing but like we said with rami and denzel that they build up for some random reason and it's just like it's just so i don't know the pacing and editing really messed me up but if i have to pick a specific scene there's one weird they're like interrogating some guy it's like early on and he like gets up and like looks at the mirror for some reason in this like weird drawn out thing i was like what is happening that part is especially weird because it turns out he did nothing (laughs) yeah (laughs) and even his first arrest was like because he was like peeing and someone saw him peeing and so he he got labeled like a sex offender and even the cops are like he just peed (laughs) he was bad and then he kills himself (laughs) i like all the yeah like nihilistic uh, fucked up stuff that happens mm-hmm. in this movie like that. Like I love and and the nebulous nature of the ending. I I if someone mm. else made this movie with different actors, I I feel like it could have soared. But yeah. like like Michael mentioned, yeah. the editing and the pacing. I feel like I'm a pretty attentive movie watcher, and I got <laughs> really confused a few times during the course of this <laughs> yeah. movie. Like yeah. really confused. Yeah. Uh, and if and and the storytelling eventually becomes has to either be through like um they either have to spell it out for you by saying having the actors say what's happening or they do you know just a really blatant flashback (laughs) yeah kind of like you know auguries or foretelling you know stuff that links this stuff together so it just becomes this really kind of shambolic um shit goes <laughs> yeah towards towards like a neat end yeah it's just like uh, uh, you know it's it's that's tough it's tough and, this movie had promise which is why and it's and it's not that yeah pleasurable of a watch because everything's no. fine no uh, everything you know it's, it's an just a good looking movie with people doing <laughs> what they were doing but they lost something in the pre-production with the casting and then yeah. in the production yeah. with the editing and how they decide to tell the story mm-hmm. and you end up with you know kind of a feel bad but uh, it's, yes. it's, it's not the type of movie that you like makes you miserable. Well, but it's no, kind of you're just kind of like oh, no. Shit. It just it feels super off, and it's we're blowing up in the chat about this. Like okay, Slor three three three. Oh. That's three thirty three. Said um, like when he goes to the di- oh no no I'm sorry. The first part of the film felt like they cut tons of story, which I agree. It feels super yeah. weird. And then he said like when when he goes to the diner to talk to his buddy and then they don't talk, he just pours sugar and coffee yes. and then leaves. He's got it's a like, right yeah, it's the a moment problem. he gets there. Like, why was that? Yeah, let's hang out. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> oh, no, that happens again later. <laughs> when he comes to that lady's yeah. door. Oh, no, Rami Malek's wife. Yes. And he's she, she opens the door and he goes, oh, I can't stay. Yeah. Or so like, it's like the weirdest. Yeah. It's, it's the weirdest stuff. I'm so, I it's think, pretty I think strange. I made Anyways, it out, guys, I think this movie was written by fucking aliens, or like, or like a, a, a Twitter <laughs> bot, like a Russian bot wrote a serial killer movie for us. Yeah, and we're so goddamn stupid that it almost works. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would that watch a Russian great. Twitter bot thriller if it wasn't cast with like the the the, the Oscar bo- like, young boy of the week club. 
Yes. <laughs> I had <laughs> forgotten he was a detective yeah. as an Armenian at age 31. That doesn't happen either. I don't, <laughs> think, so. I don't think so. Not in 1990 in L.A. <laughs> you got to be 62 and 100%. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I was confused. That just was the weirdest choice. I had ever. forgotten uh, until you mentioned it all about Denzel's personal twists. <laughs> yeah. That don't Weird. really have any bearing on the story particularly. And like it's uh, and what uh, what Denzel does wrong is fucking bananas. Oh yes, that he so they're, he's they are, they, they are let's just foil the shit. They are at the crime scene yes. of, of this serial killer, because this is all linked, uh, supposedly linked serial killings. Um, uh, and uh, just like one of the would-be victims stumbles out of the bushes, so Denzel puts one in her goddamn heart. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <nuts. shot>. so, <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, a white woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I guess I kind of like it, because it's cop shooting people in movies. Which We're... Is... Look, be highlighted yeah, <laughs> we're just as scared of you as you are. Yeah. Also, it's weird that okay, so like another wire character, the lady coroner. Uh, oh, I didn't realize she was. Yeah, that's the right. Angelo's she's, mom. She's, she's yeah, Barksdale's mom. Mm. Uh, she <laughs> she is also another character where it's like. I guess you were there just to say stuff from the past. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't I have guess. any meaning in the story either. You just, but she has kept this bullet. Oh yeah, as a rem... as a I reminder, guess. and and then made it into a keychain, which is fucking That's absurd. Crazy. See, I didn't even fucking notice that. Like, yes, I think right. Bad. I didn't. Why? Why did I say it was okay? This movie's fucking bad. I don't. I didn't it's make that I up, right? Fu- yeah. Michael Zell Washington problem. I have a fucking problem. You, you do <laughs> have a problem. Have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Much like Denzel, as Trey points out, he says Denzel learns how to deal with doing murder by murder <laughs> by murder, <laughs> paying it forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. The only way to solve this is more yeah. murders. And Holly pointed out this. There's just so many random stuff. Like she talks about the random ex-wife visit, and he like kicks oh, the wife's yeah. yard. It's like so weird. I, I forgot yeah, that about strange. that. There's so many things that are forgettable <laughs> because they weird. have no bearing on anything. It's like, yeah. so what do we learn anything new about him in this moment? <laughs> No. no, that is Dude. not a revelation. That's just like a no. Oh, so he's a fucking buffoon. I don't know. Yeah, there's just a lady. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I guess that's what his ex-wife looks like. It's what we learned. Yeah. Hey, he used Great. to be married to that and lady, we, and he's we didn't a even mention kids. the bit where Denzel sees yeah. victims in his dreams and yes. And oh my god, I hated that. You know, I hated so that, that stuff. Was, I was like, this is no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they were. It was, and I got really weird vibes when they all appeared in his bedroom, like, oh. <laughs> and he was like touching his lips, and so I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Maybe the first, <laughs> really the only weird. one who gets horny about dead people. Yeah. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe he's mad I said at him. I <laughs> said it, guys. I did laugh when Jared Leto got hit with the <laughs> yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, thank goodness. He's fucking dead, Bubba. Yeah, yeah that would have been like dead. kind of an interesting bit in, in a yeah. way that made sense. Yeah. And I love the notion of like, you know, him just being a serial killer obsessed doofus. Yeah. You know, that that, that yeah. would have been interesting. And, and, and even the visual of Rami Malek digging up all those graves could have been, you know, this like amazing Sergio Leone moment. But the way yeah, this movie weird. is paced and shit, like this movie, we talked about, or Chad right in, in the chat brought up how it, it's too goddamn mm-hmm. long. We're yeah. talking about movies yeah. too long that we also feel off, <laughs> like obviously was butchered to bits and then missing <laughs> huge parts of story that we probably needed. So that just shows you how poor yeah. it is. Not good it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it is really funny. Like, I, I didn't realize this, but <laughs> Anna Sukul pointed out. <laughs> So that he gets hit after he says tacos. <laughs> after he says tacos. <laughs> That's really I funny. I thought his last part was tacos. Well, oh maybe, maybe. Uh, Jared Leto. Genius ad lib. Oh my Ooh. gosh. 
one of my low main yes. lines is when he's like talking to Rami Malik and he goes, I'll take you to her. Jeez. Yeah. Rhonda, like, what the fuck? That's, that's <laughs> so fucking bad. He can't do anything without some weird. ridiculous flair added to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, a silly Billy. Very silly. I mean, silly. you gotta keep him. But I'm sure he had fun. The Queen of the Desert roles. You cannot stick him <laughs> in your real <laughs> fucking movie. This. Just don't do it. You yeah. Stick him in your real. Don't. Don't put him in film. Put yeah. him in. Make him a silly Billy. Make him a silly Billy. In the yeah, silly Billy Manning room is the only Jared Leto role worth pursuing as a film fan. And I think he's just <laughs> himself. <laughs> <laughs> Just insane crackhead. That's great. Yeah, I think that's about right. That's great. Uh, fellas, do you have any other final parting thoughts about this? Movie? Um, okay. Well, the kill really? dogs do. They are lighting okay, it right. up. Let's it is go. like it's like the the people are coming to kill Frankenstein. That's how much light I'm <laughs> seeing. Torches are out. The torches are out. <laughs> yeah. Like shit. Um, and I, I'm gonna let him in. Um, Chad Ryan said they could have cut out a lot of Denzel driving around, not doing anything or saying Walk anything. You, which is really funny. The best part of the goddamn movie. Over, over Just Mike enjoy James, the ride. Robert Dobby, Jackie Face, Edward James, almost brooding. Are you kidding me? More Denzel driving in circles, brooding, checking locks. Yes. Less yes. Dominic. Uh, and Jared Leto filleting each other. That's oh yeah. On that one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Holly. Holly said only a dude would get in a car with a probable serial killer and let him drive him out to the middle of nowhere. Which is yeah, I thought that was so dumb. And that was out like, of what? nowhere too. <laughs> and then he calls. Yeah, and then he so calls weird. Denzel. He says, "Your butt buddy can't come with us." <laughs> <laughs> When was this movie had to be written a long fucking time ago for butt? Buddy. Yeah, your butt or maybe buddy. Or another Leto line. Or- what? Yeah, maybe <laughs> he added so it. Weird. Weird. I mean, I think I think <laughs> they are so trying to go for like a vanishing another reference. I think it is trying to go for a vanishing feel where it's like yeah. the only way you can find out where this woman is is by going with me right now. Yeah. But yeah, like once again, Jared Leto being in a different movie <laughs> and also Rami Malek being in an even different her movie that neither of them are in this movie so as they try to make the scene happen it's like well this is supposed to be like really like oh shit this is a life or death situation for this Intense. poor girl and he's picturing her as being maybe still alive and he can maybe save her or something but yeah. instead it's just like hey get hey, get in my car and he's like okay i'll get in your car and that's it <laughs> So okay. Weird. In these goddamn Denzel do. movies, you don't even have to be good. You just have to be Ethan fucking Hawk. If you can just be <laughs> yeah. Ethan Hawk and just not fucking poop your pants, we will get through <laughs> this movie with Denzel okay. Just don't. Because Ethan Hawk is just very. <laughs> until um, that Paul Schrader film, First Reform, First Reform. I had oh, never that was seen awesome. Ethan Hawk act. I'd say yeah. look uncomfortable and sweaty. And that's it. That's good. And that's all you have to do. Just don't like go full Ronnie Malik and look like you're having a seizure underneath your lizard skin. And don't don't Jared Leto and say poop and wear like eyeliner under your nostrils and shit. Like just don't do that. Don't you eyeliner. Yeah. Fucking insane, goddamn. <laughs> Is that eyeliner <laughs> under your That's nostrils? Not That's really good. Uh, well, nostrils. I figured that he's the kind of guy that would put eyeliner under his nose because he's real weird, and I'm pretty weird, so I can really, I yeah, can really get into the wavelength of a person who is weird. Uh, the way he waddled around. He was oh, doing was a Michael so Myers weird. thing. Like, he was walking like yes. My- Michael Myers. It was fucking stupid. Weird. Oh, God. So weird. Ugh. That's the weirdest movie. I was watching bad movies again. I was getting so tired of watching good movies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Bitch to live. It's my air. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of which, we might get to watch a, a horrible movie Ooh. next week. We'll find out. <laughs> Go over to our Twitter at Food Court Cast and yes, please make your voice be heard. Wait, is that a, is mm-hmm. that the way you say that? Yes. Uh, Slow, make rock the vote. <laughs> rock the vote. Vote yes. for either tenant or possessor or unhinged or whatever you want. You can hit whatever. other and tell us whatever you Write want us to in. watch. 
Also, yeah, get a movement over... started in the comments. Make the notifications make Sean insane. Yes. yes. I'm going to turn them on, and they're going to be, and I want to hear them digging every 30 seconds. Or you are being fired as kill donkeys, and we're yeah, sending you uh -oh. out to pasture. You'll be dead. I'm, I'm going to be a dead donkey. You're going to be a pin the tail on a donkey. No, I won't. I can't physically kill you because I'm afraid to go near you. Um, so uh, go and vote. Head over to Instagram. Follow us there. Sure. Like all those posts. Mm. Get into the comments <laughs> on, on these iTunes things over in this podcast app. Give us five stars and type us type wonderful review like man. Watch, watch Michael's stream video games. <laughs> Mappy hikes on yeah, Twitch. Yeah, Mappy hikes this on, is on Twitch? Twitch. I'm gonna be doing that. Is yeah, it's great. Oh, we're on Twitch God, now. Oh yeah, I'm a wicked Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, Michael is. That's my best witch laugh. Yeah. It sounds just like a witch. <laughs> hey, I'm a scary witch. Hey? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how they laugh. Um, oh, can you imagine? I would die if that happened in a movie. That would be so, the firm, I would love that. That's so what Jared Leto would do. If he was a witch, he'd be like, um, I'm a scary witch. Ha 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 I don't. Even There's know. no way to know. <laughs> so weird. There's no, but you, <laughs> the listener, an too. Son of yeah. a bitch. Yeah, he, he was in the Dallas Fire Club, baby. He had the AIDS. Oh yeah, which? Yeah. Good job. Good job. They both lost a lot of weight, at the very least. You can't yeah. deny that Matthew McConaughey <laughs> lost weight. He did lose Thank weight. Thank you. He won too. They all won, didn't they? <laughs> they all he won. Got snubbed. And and Denzel Washington was nominated for Philadelphia. This is an AIDS through line film. Wow, this movie's wow. really easy. Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to talk shit about it. I love this film. Yeah. This is a powerful. <laughs> this is a work of art. Yeah, the message is such art. Uh, bon appetit. Bon oh, appetit bon appetit.